Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Archery Shack Shop Talk number 160. I'm Jeremy. I'm TJ. And we're back. Yep. Everybody's saying, where are y'all at? Let me get this adjusted. And that y'all wanted us to do a shop talk and all that stuff, and we're going to try to get back in the routine. Let's give y'all some life updates here. Oh, Lord. Let me get all my stuff going. It's all dusty. It's been a while. <laughs> it has. Let's see. Everybody's good. Uh, mm -hmm. TJ went to work with his wife to get some benefits. So TJ's here in the evenings now. Yep. Bobby's still here with us. My dad had a back surgery, so I basically took over his business, which is a gutter company. So I'm in and out. And uh, Partain still comes around every now and then and helps us. Mm -hmm. And if anybody else wants a job, <laughs> we're going to be – when the busy season hits, we definitely gonna need some help. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't mind finding a full time person that could be here all the time with Bobby, and uh, we could. It'd probably be like eighty percent bowstring making and twenty percent dealing with bows or talking to people or whatever. But anybody local that might fit that bill is interested. Shoot me a message. Uh, I'm not terribly interested in because everybody and their brother wants to come help. Uh, on the weekends or evenings or whatever i need we need a one good full-time helper uh <clears throat> so that's what we've been up to it's been mm -hmm. a busy uh my dad had his surgery january 3rd and then i've been crazy well, i was already semi-involved with what he was doing but then i got jumped in with both feet uh because he was down so that's why you hadn't seen too much of me and TJ's here through the week in the evenings, and he's good, and mm -hmm. Bobby's still here all the time, yep. and uh, the usual suspects are still here, but um, <laughs> let's see, we, I know we made some in the shop videos through the little bit there, and then it was sort of a dead right after Christmas time up until about now, we get a few bows dropped off, I don't want to say dead, like absolutely nothing's happening, but like pretty laid back not much going on yep uh we've been tinkering with some bowtech bows we've been uh who is this um i bought y'all seen the shooting video i threw together with jarvis i probably seen it i bought a random used psa target bow off the internet and threw it together and other thing that happened to me was i don't remember what is it december january something I still don't really know what happened, but I messed my sh left shoulder up pretty good. It was to a point I couldn't even raise my arm all the way up. And something's still not quite right, but it wasn't painful after we shot Saturday. It was just sore, and it was like when I shoot, I can't – it's hard to describe, but like I can't put my shoulder like it used to be. It's like it's rolled weird or something. Um, I really think that – I slept on it weird. Um, I think I need a new mattress, but I really think, cause there's nothing that I can trace it to as far as like, I picked up a something heavy and it messed up and it was instantly hurting. It was just like, I think I, something happened sleeping and cause every now and then I'll sleep all funky or something, I'll have, whatever. And I'll wake up and like my neck and shoulder are killing me. So I don't know. I need to figure that out. Definitely. But it messed me up good enough to where, like I could tune a bow and shoot it five times and then I'd hurt for two days uh, pretty good. So I'm hoping it's, it is definitely better than it was. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, way better. I just hope it slowly keeps getting, it was just so weird shooting Saturday. Cause like I was thinking about all that, like, and I never think about it, but it worked out. I wasn't in any kind of pain. So hopefully that works. We'll try to get, well, it's so weird around here. We've talked about it before. Yeah. Now that it's heating up, like all the shoots are just about over with yeah i mean it's wild and we're just barely into the year i feel like mm -hmm. but maybe we can go and shoot at bobby brown or do a shoot or two here or victoria bryant's got a part uh, range we'll do something um and get some some of those type of videos out um san lita archery reached out last week and said they're gonna send some random stuff and want me to make a couple videos so i will and i mean i'll be honest uh they got some arrows that are, co that are coming and i can't i think a bow or two or whatever 
Um, I'll still say that the Dragon X Egg, I know it's Chinese and blah, 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 and I know all the all that. But first, most, most of the cheap bows from the companies you think's American are also coming from the same place. Yep. And I can, I can prove it. Uh, I mean, hell, the boxes that they come in say from China. <laughs> yeah. Anyway um so but i'll give an honest review of all that when we get it and, and test it out and plus for a budget starter bow i mean you can't go wrong with it right i still stick to that we well i shouldn't say that well, i already stuck my mouth we've had less trouble out of those dragon bows than other brands we carry uh and that is no bullshit yeah um so there's that man let me think uh we didn't go to the ata show this year mm-hmm uh, I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, you know, last time we went, it just felt small and nothing really yep. was accomplished. So I don't know. I can't say we're not going back, but I don't know if there's any sense in it. I tell you, the one that I think that's taken off and may eventually replace it is the NWTF convention in yeah, Nashville. I've seen a lot of people that we know that was there. Yeah. Just combine the ATA and the SHOT Show somehow and call it a day at this point. Yep. I mean, when you got all your main brands like Matthews and Hoyt and whoever not going to it, you know, I don't know. And and I know that the people over that company has got to make it sound good, and they're trying mm-hmm. to say, oh, all these connections are made and blah, blah, blah. And it is good to see everybody, but, like, yeah. in, in a, in, if we're going to spend a couple thousand dollars to get there, and what used to save us a couple thousand dollars in inventory, but now not so much. And then it, 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 everybody's not even there. And yeah. just, I, I don't know. But I don't feel like I heard much talk about it this year. I didn't either. None of that. So we. Um, and there again, the biggest thing that I seen online, anything, was saddle hunting stuff, which this past deer season didn't hear near as much hype about it so yeah, i don't know what the next big gizzy's gonna be i but don't either it'll be something yep and it's always hard to figure it out till it's already in the middle of it but yeah um god what else i don't even know mm-hmm. i feel like well in a way i feel like we're getting back to pre-covid yeah. stuff um in multiple ways the um i don't know just there was a big sort of a hill at COVID time that was weird. I guess people were just at home and, and going crazy and and that sort of thing. And then now we're kind of getting back sort of normalized, I guess. And these uh, some of these boat companies are just throwing out Matthews. And I know they probably do it to cause a rush on their product, basically, but like, they came out with their latest bow and then we're telling dealers, Oh, it'll be March or April, like hmm. six months ahead before you gonna get any more. That's wild. Yeah, it is. That is wild. Um Well, there was a site that we were told that we could only order what, three of them I think it was, and then mm-hmm. we wouldn't see another one until mid April, so I think there may already be out there. But it's that's just, what we I were told. To me it's just hard to believe a product could be released but it's just archery it's so weird they re- all the bows are now released in the middle of hunting season which is stupid yep you know then all they after they release them they all have these little preview packs they send dealers and then it's like oh well we can't get you anymore for a couple months and it's hmm. like well hell <laughs> i'd almost rather not even get any yeah um you know and last year we got stuck with the prime released their bows and it took what three months or four months to get modules for the thing and it yeah. was just like come on, this is we're getting into some stupid stuff here yeah but that was that was a wild because we had bows but we i just hate being put in positions like that yeah because you got a bow or three or whatever on the wall but it only fit like a 29 inch draw and yep. it's just i don't know i don't like it i don't like it at all Mm-mm. um this year there's been a lot of hype about that matthews bow there's been a little bit of hype just from what i've seen about kevin kevin strother coming back to obsession Session. uh and randy will end up not that we don't carry obsession anymore but he's getting that new one i, w- I wouldn't mind shooting it yeah just to see what it feels like if it's anything different um i don't even remember the name of it do you? bone the bone that's that it bone. that's it uh I hadn't heard much about Hoyt this year, I feel like. 
I, ha- I hadn't either. Not even Bear. I feel like in PSE's kind of been the same thing. I'm, I was really hoping or looking or whatever for like a big John Dudley something with PSE. Like here's a great new something, but mm-hmm. it's kind of the same old, same old. Um, I got that Supra Focus off eBay or wherever for like 300 bucks. And I'll say that I really like the way that bow feels. Uh, the older, the older Supra I shot really good, and uh, we still got primes. Nothing against prime, but prime. I wish they need to make a freaking thirty-seven, thirty-eight, or thirty-nine inch bow because the last longbow they made was a freaking black nine, and that's been what four years ago. Yeah. So, and I understand the tournament market's not near as big as the hunting market, but there a lot of the tournament people are like, well. I'll wait on Prime till they come out with a long bow, and now we're in year four, so it's just like I don't know what's going on there. Um, I, like I still hung on to my CT nine, yeah, and that one was two thousand seventeen, something like that. So, um, but I will say I shoot that, or the, the super feels good. You know, that's what I'm saying. I think it. What's that Focus XL? Is that a thirty nine inch bow? Whatever it is, I don't even know. Focus. The XL is i'll look it up because i have no idea didn't they make two didn't they make a 40 and a 37 in it i can't remember let me google 40 inch bow okay i knew it was big and that was (laughs) my shoulder a little wonky that's a big old bow to deal with but it it worked out um guy who else uh psc who hadn't we talked about i don't even know um, you know, Botech is with the, they kept, I'm surprised they didn't do like an updated SS34, which they kept it in line, which is probably be the bow that I'll get here in, in the near future. Um, Botech, I guess first of the year they fired, oh, it's man. like a PSE thing. They fired their reps, got a new rep group. And I know the public could care less yeah. and don't see none of that but for us it's a big ass deal because like a guy that we've been dealing with and trying to slowly build a relationship with for like five years suddenly he's gone yep. and some other cats in and it's like i just don't know that's, that's what had kind of made me whatever with pse they literally went through like six or eight reps yeah. in like a two-year period and it's like my god a lot of the reason when we had ordered a lot of PSEs was we had built a good relationship with the rep and we knew if we got an issue or if we need something or whatever, I can text or call and that guy is going to be on it. Yeah. Well, now we got Jerry Sue that we don't know from Adam that don't even call the shop. And then we call, you know, we call him. Oh, he's been released. Now you need to call Billy Bob. And it's just like, my God, yeah. uh, we're, we're done. So, uh, I don't know. These these companies and archery in general is just a weird, weird thing. I don't know anything else that's like it. I really no. don't. Um, well, and a lot of the companies have done away with, like, territorial reps, and they're all in-house reps that are territorial. That'd be fine with me. If they – a simple email every couple of weeks to say, how you doing, hey – We've noticed some dealers when they tune this particular bow are doing blah blah. blah. Just check in, say hey. But yeah. No, none of them, zero, do that. I feel like if somebody would, everybody would love them. And you know, there's been times we have ordered a not a product that we know is not as good as something else we could get, but we know the customer service end of it is on point. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, so I just I don't know. The bear bows are still doing good. They kind of kept sort of you same legits and species and stuff the i think i did a video on the alaskan xt the only thing about well it's just like any other company but you you pull a bear out of the box it needs to be looked at and worked on it's yeah. not going to be on point and i understand they're making god knows how many of them things a day so <laughs> yeah. they're just slinging them together you know any box bow is going to be that way but mm. for the most part um and it's hard to make videos about that because i ain't trying to trash talk them i'm just showing you some of these things we pulled out of the box and it will probably derail if you shoot it like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not just bear, it's other companies too, but crossbows are still getting crazy popular. Um, I ran into somebody today that was asking me about buying a crossbow, but 
They're popular. Ultra Arrows, if you've shot them or you got them, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. I ordered our first set for Jarvis and set them up. So far, so good. But uh, I was going to order some fat ones, but they were out of like, they had the shaft, I think, but zero components. Yeah. Um, I'm interested. Uh, Black Eagle, I don't know. Man. There has been so much shit. We've had god components all of a sudden not fit we've had fletchings fall off. off on the first shot the first guy comes in and says it and we're like whatever dude like you sh you hit it with an arrow whatever well then when like 20 people show up saying on my first shot my fletchings fell off it's like we got a problem mm -hmm. you know what i mean this is a problem and then anyway which i mean black eagle made it right so they did they did so good for them uh knocks that don't fit and something's going on I don't know if there's been a manufacturer change of components and stuff or what, but I personally, knowing what I know, am on the fence. Yeah. Um, I'd like to know more about Ultra. I'd like to, I don't even know. I mean, Victory's solid. Yeah. Um, well, I switched over to Victory stuff this past year. Um, I'm so far, been happy with everything. I was going to run the Ultras, but like you said, I could get, components but couldn't get shafts yeah, and then like, and even then, when i jarvis said i don't care get me whatever and i was gonna go i think rampage and i was like let me just see if they've got and they have they for whatever they had it at that particular time and i thought screw it let's try these out so and so far he said they're tough and blah 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 and uh but that's just one set so I don't, you know but i it was one of them like i'd like to shoot them tj jarvis whoever and then if we all kind of see they're legit I mean, obviously they're legit, but you know what I yeah. mean. If they're tough or whatever, I right, let's maybe stock a few. But we hadn't got that far yet. I hope they make a two hundred four because I don't think they make a two hundred four yet. I'm sure they will. Um, I'm trying to think, but that's been since Levi or whatever went to them. That's been a lot of the talks. The Ultra Eras. Mm -hmm. um, God, I don't even know what else. The Tack stuff is still you know they're moving oh, it man. to gainesville georgia which is only like two hours from us versus driving six to where it was at in tennessee i've got a wedding i gotta be at that weekend or i would be going may the 4th i think it is but um that's gonna be big i yeah. think i think if tack could physically grow two or three times their size very quickly it they could they could bring in the people well i know um, they added they added a couple more. They added one up Kentucky, Indiana area. And they added another one, and I watched a podcast with uh, what's the guy's name that's on Facebook all the time, Rob. Uh, Ron Jeremy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Chelinski. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and he he said that he's hoping next year to have even more venues. Hmm. Well, maybe they'll slowly slowly grow it but there i mean I, well we ain't been doing asa in quite some time but at this point i'm very little concerned about asa and tech is fun and it's cool long shots and mm -hmm. it's everything everybody wants to play with yeah. you know what i mean like you can keep score you can not keep score whatever you want to do but i know they're supposedly next year they have finally worked out some kind of deal with the online registration that supposed to help improve everything that'd be my biggest thing that's what really made me not want to go last year was like it's just too much everybody was on pins and needles the year before yeah tj's back there with 10 computers and two phones trying to get them all and none of them's working and it's like well are we registered or we're not did they take our money what's going on it's just it ain't worth it but if they'd figure that out and i guarantee you there are bigger events non-archery related that have sites or have whatever that can that they could probably i don't know but the biggest thing the one i seen on the groups was Ticketmaster, yeah something like Ticketmaster. Like, yeah. but and also there again it's almost like a concert it yeah. opens up and they sell out i think it needs to be longer than the three days i think it should be like a, a week or something uh and then you know like uh me us whatever I'd love to go in the middle of the week where the crowds wouldn't be as bad and whatever. And then you got your people that can't get off for it. They'd still be there the weekend. But I enjoyed TAC our first year or so yeah. when it was not that crowded. 
I mean, it was still crowded, but not as bad. Late, you know, but now it's just kind of like getting wild. Yeah, but it's also you know we see it as a negative, but it's also a positive that it's grown. Oh, that, yeah. that it has that much attention to it. I agree. You know, I mean, I agree. But other, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, let's see, we're in what April. Typically, on a typical year, other than like COVID uh, years, what this will will have basically a big lull coming up because school will get out and everybody's taking vacations or whatever. And then around 4th of July or a week or two after, it'll go crazy. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm hoping before then we got some more help. And uh, we're going to slowly start getting some bows in. I think I'm going to try to get a few Botex in. Uh, we've ordered some for people, and but we hadn't really st- stocked them, I guess you'd say, yet. Um of course we'll have their bear we got our big shot order in uh get some more spot hog stuff in i think there's a few left um i'm gonna figure out arrows i mean we're gonna keep our tried and true black eagle outlaws and renegades and whatever but i feel like maybe at this point uh there's something you can't always i mean forever keep the same stuff i guess is what i'm saying there's probably something newer and greater and Mm -hmm. maybe cheaper i don't know that's the biggest thing i've that i'm seeing a lot of even is just how much stuff is going up you ain't kidding i mean that's when average joe or not average but a lot of people are now going out and buying xyz site and it, they've got six or eight hundred dollars in a site for a random bow whereas mm. used to three or four hundred dollars for a tournament site and everybody's like good god and it yeah. don't seem like it was that long ago uh-uh. and now a two thousand plus dollar whole rig is nothing so yeah. i just don't know i guess we're getting old <laughs> and i understand that and set in our ways to a certain degree but i always feel like big trends happen and i can't never hard i can rarely pick it out like yeah. whatever it is uh but we'll see well limb driven rest yeah. we got in on the tail end of that one yeah uh what else did we get on the tail end i of? remember when the whisker biscuit came out and i was yep. like junk 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 and then uh we got a few in the rep came by and was like i'm telling you put this on a bow and i did and it bullet holed and i went out and shot it and i was like okay maybe i'm gonna eat my words and i did and then mm-hmm. just all kinds of stuff but um ultra views huge now with releases yeah. and they got some sites going and scopes and all that that's a big deal mm-hmm. hamsky we're still doing a lot of hamsky stuff um just it's wild excel i mean you rarely heard i mean back when we shot tournaments all the time you didn't hear them say it was sherlock yeah <laughs> i mean that's all there was yeah and then excel slowly come on and i mean boom the dovetail swap to the hunting side has come on with single pins uh i like watching gillingham on his podcast and that guy i'm telling you i think i've got in one conversation with him at an ata show and he knows more about any off the wall thing that you can do with a bow or air that i will ever learn in my lifetime he is a tinkering man he is one of the coolest things i've seen him do in person was at one of those shows he took a carbon express arrow and he took i think he had a gold tip arrow and he was like this gold tip arrow and he named off other brands that had him but he said this is pure carbon this carbon express maxima is not He was like watch this and he bowed that thing and put it on a spinner and spun it and that carbon express was like whoop Whoop, whoop. he did it at the gold tip straight as an arrow and i was like no way and uh it has like memory in it yeah because like, it's not pure carbon that was something else he's done he's he's a i had never messaged him on facebook but i've had people tell me that they've had legitimate random questions about whatever and he'll answer them and yeah i'm like that's pretty slick but so i mean come on who would ever thought running four 30 inch bars off of a target bow <laughs> he's and all his crazy people make fun of him but he can shoot yeah and he knows his stuff he does um but yeah 
But in South Carolina, the uh, slowly has heated up. Now we're having hot day. Or well, this week's been weird. It's been cold at night or mm-hmm. colder and like 80s and during the day. But like last week, we had a couple of days that hit about 90 mm-hmm. already, and it was still warm at night. And it's like, oh God, here we go. But yeah, summer is about to be upon us. Um, hopefully going forward, we'll try to get y'all some random videos. I got to do better about like doing there. I mean, there's a million bows here that we're working on. I just need to start videoing it. And I'd kind of got, I don't know if burnout's the word or what, but it's like, I got to where I was like, damn it. Now I'm going to have to get all this stuff out to video. But I think I'm sometimes just maybe go old school and use my phone again or do whatever just to get some videos out there. And there's so many platforms now between, we all know, TikTok and Instagram and uh, Facebook and YouTube and blah, 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 blah. But Facebook's sort of our trident. We like face or uh, YouTube. We like YouTube. Mm-hmm. So obviously we'll keep doing that. And it's a longer form thing mostly. And, but I try to get some tuning videos. We'll try to start doing this back fairly regular as we can. Um, we've still never had like a, well, this device I had bought whenever it was, we can have like, we could have somebody, Call in, call in, or, or pop them up on the screen, or whatever. So that would be cool to do sooner than later. Um, see if we can't get a few people on here, and then just get some random videos going again. Um, mm-hmm. But it got wild, I guess, last year really. And then I did some Saturday videos, I know, but it was just like too much stuff going on, and we just kind of tried to get done what we need to get do get done and left it at that but hopefully we'll get everything back going like it was we did so good for what like three years of yeah. doing this damn near every week and then we did have our lull here for the past whatever it's been six months but mm-hmm. um it seems like a lot of people we're at 160 which is crazy but a lot of people do t- five or ten and then give up but yeah. we, we did a good many so we'll we'll get it going again i guess if you got any kind of questions or whatever put them in the comments we'll try to look at them next week or whatever yep um trying to think of what else trying to think of anything coming up i don't know what our next shoot that we go to will be because there's nothing in the immediate future as far as our local clubs but we may try to team up and run back down to bobby brown park or victoria bryant or even to set up some targets here or something um just to shoot and and do our thing but Mm -hmm. Um, we're getting old <laughs> I was just thinking the other day it's almost been or it may have been I have to look 10 years since I randomly started filming us shooting on our on the phone which turned into all the crap we've done on here now um, has it been that long? I know in 2015 I was videoing some stuff I don't know about 14 so we're right on top of it yeah well um and then, but yeah, I, we'll see what's coming up sooner than later. I know um, old Devin bought him a carbon bow off eBay. He's been blowing me up about that. I bought that freaking Supra, messaged that Joker <laughs> whenever it was, December or something. Uh, and then he was like, oh my God. And I was like, well, I was looking at this other one too. I said, I was just kind of going back and forth to who was going to take my offer. 14 minutes later, he bought it. And I was like, here we go. I shouldn't have said nothing. Should have told him I bought a Martin or something. But I didn't want him to lose an eye. But he um, he's in went through about 10 bows as usual. But he just got a carbon bow. I don't know what he's doing to it. God, I mean, hopefully not dry firing it for science. But yeah, uh, I'm sure he's actively working on it. I think it was coming in today. Um Jarvis, y'all met him on the, y'all have probably seen him in some random videos, but he's, I met him in what, like November. Mm-hmm. He bought the whole family bows and he's all about shooting some bows, which I like because that gets me and us sort of more fired up because you do this in the shop every day. It's just like, I don't even want to see a bow again, but yeah. you get around somebody that's excited about shooting and it kind of rubs off. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on. And what else? Trying to think. I don't know, but yeah. There's there's so much that we've seen on Facebook and heard and watched that. Yeah. I mean, that just drawing a blank. I mean, 
you know, the big news was, which we covered this before, but Botech getting rid of Gillingham and Kyle Douglas. On that their- was wild, and I don't think most people probably don't even know what that about it. Like average hunting person, I know a lot of tournament people is kind of weird, but like you was talking about getting a Botech. The Botech rep came by um, after they, I think, swapped or whatever our yeah. old one. And it was like, dang, these bows shoot good, but like, should we buy any? Because we know they kind of screwed these boys out of whatever, or does that matter? Or I don't know. And, you know, but if you got one sitting here, people shoot it and love them. Yeah. So I'm about, I wouldn't mind having that SS34 is almost like a tack style setup. Um, And it's also like this. I got to thinking about this. I still have my, like I said, my CT9, and I have tossed around the idea of selling that Joker just because. We rarely shoot a typical 3D style bow anymore. True. That's very true. Um, The only part of me that don't want to sell it is, number one, they don't make that color no more. And number two is I've got a lot of money tied up in that bow that I'll never see again. Yeah. And But I thought about just selling it, getting an SS34, I mean, I am running a little bit longer bars, which a 12 and 10, I think, or 12, 8, and literally just running it as a 3D hybrid bow. My hunting bow, tack bow, 3D bow. Yeah. Um, but you're right. There ain't many. It's not as ASA oriented as it once was. You know what I mean? There's more of these hybrid bows, yeah. like you say. And then you could easily just undo the sidebar put a short front bar and go hunt with that bow you know what i mean so but that's just that's my thing i'd I'd like to do a video and i thought about this other day i'd like to say all right i'm gonna i'm gonna basically buy the cheapest decent bow on ebay i can find and do a whole video on it and let's just say whatever that bow is i spend two hundred dollars basically do a very budget setup Mm -hmm. show that it could work for deer hunting or for 3d or whatever and then maybe give it away or something. That'd be kind of a cool video, yep. um, because I think it would go against the the grain. The grain of like people always want to promote what they can sell and make money off of, but we have never. I don't feel like we have ever pushed that direction. Like we only shoot blah 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 bows because if you order one, we get ten dollars or something. <laughs> like I feel like we've shot everybody pretty straight, even about the bows we've carried we've said this is bullshit and this is good but we mm-hmm. carry them because of you know what i mean so well and how many people through the years like i've shot pretty much every bow that i mean i shot that switch matthew switch yeah matthews and we shot psc and we shot prime the and we shot obsessions obsessions uh, i mean i still got my hoyt back here yeah hoyt i mean we've went through and that's something else i've tried to portray and yeah we may sort of get stuck on a brand as far as shooting them whatever but like i don't want to ever f- make people feel like we're we're getting paid to sell the product because we're not we're not getting paid to shoot like yeah. i said that's yeah we're not sponsored we're no. not whatever typically we just select whatever bow and then uh but i don't want anybody ever think we're it's attached at the hip with any brand mm-hmm. um you know and whatever because it is what it is but um but we've tried to call the ball straight as mm. best we can and sometimes uh you th- you know sometimes it takes some time to figure all that out but it is what it is mm-hmm. but anyway we'll get off here just wanted y'all to just want to say hey yep here's where we've been here's what's going on a lot of life events mm-hmm. just randomly happening um and we will definitely try to start more consistently doing these. And then, like I say, if you got anything you want to talk about or questions, comments, whatever, just throw them in the comments of this one. Yep. We'll take a peek next week or whatever and see what we can do. And then I know I'll be doing those San Lito videos in the next week or two whenever they get here. And I'll try to shoot them straight. And then, again, it may take us a little bit of playing with them for a couple of weeks after those initial videos to say, oh, well, I didn't notice it, but this is happening or this yeah. whatever. So the air, the, whatever errors they're making, I'm curious to see what they turn out to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so you never know. But there's a lot of people ordering stuff off Amazon from China. 
everything sights lenses uh arrows it seems yeah. like a lot of not i don't like so i want to say a lot of mediocre recurve people are ordering chinese uh errors off ebay yeah and amazon and uh but like i say people are gonna get their panties in a wad but if you really look into it most of your arrows are coming from overseas uh, I mean, mm-hmm. when I say most, I mean like 95% of brands you might think are made in America. Eh. Same thing with a lot of mid to lower end bows. They're mm-hmm. coming from overseas. And we know it because when the boxes come in here, it says the shipment's from China. Yeah. Uh, even though it's uh, an American company. But anyway, that's that. And we will see y'all hopefully next week. See Appreciate y'all, y'all turning in, tuning in. And uh, we'll get this thing rolling again. That's right. See y'all. Over and out.